Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Paul Statton. I'm the director of the Lighthouse for the Soul. Now in my business, what I do is help empower people, especially those who have got low self-worth, and I help them reconnect to their essence so they've got clarity of who they are, got more confidence to create from their inherent wisdom and abilities, so then they can create a life of joy, vitality, and have meaning and contribution in their life. In this particular video, I'm really excited to share with you something which is really passionate to me, and that is about the five elements, and especially to know your dominant element. What I've found is that a lot of my clients, you know, as being a healing coach for the last 20 years, working in over 50 countries, is a lot of people feel disconnected, they're not quite sure who they are, they're not quite sure where they're going in their life, they're not sure why things happen in their life. Yeah, can you relate to that? Yeah, well one of the things I've found in my life is that if you actually know your dominant element, which of the elements, wood, fire, earth, metal or water, is your dominant element, that helps to give you a lot of clarity of who you are, also helps you understand your inherent wisdom and abilities, and enables you to know how to manifest your desires. So just briefly, in the five elements, is that wood is the big picture, that's the integration of all of them. No one's actually wood, because wood reflects all the elements. So from wood we have fire. The fire is about vision and about why, and that's my element. I'm a, I'm a visionary person. I know why. I help people understand about why they need to do things in their life. I'm quite often giving vision to people about where they're going in life, so fire is my dominant element. For those people who are earth, earth is about doing things with harmony. Those people know how to do things and do it in a way which is harmonic with, with earth. So quite often earth people are people who like doing things like athletes, musicians, artists, like creating with their hands, you know, doing woodwork, and making buildings, etc. They're the earth people. The metal people, they're about the organisers. And they're great with systems. So quite often they're in administrative type jobs. They're good luck with accountants, great with systems. And in a way, metal is about purification because the ultimate alchemy is creating gold, the purification process from the earth. So metal and air is about purification because in a way creating systems is purifying the way you do things, which enables you to create at a bigger level. And then from metal we go on to water, and the water element is all about flow, because what water does, it flows. And the water element is all about how we can create things from a bigger level to help expand. And probably a good example of a water person is Richard Branson, who's really great at um, seeing systems and knowing how to expand them into a bigger way to uh, suit the world. So we all have each of these five elements in our body, but we are t tend to be dominant in one of them. So I've written actually a book on the five elements called Understanding Your Life, which I go into the five elements in a lot of details. But what I'm willing to offer you today is a free sample of the first chapter, which is going to help you understand do your dominant element to help you be able to identify which element you are. So just, do, just click on the link close to this video. I hope that's valuable to you and look forward to talking to you soon.